My name is Jeff Weinstock, and I live on Miami Beach. And one of my favorite authors once said that, um, she said, my brain is like a really bad neighborhood. I try not to visit it too often. And I think that describes me pretty well. Um, there's a lot going on in my brain. It's always busy, thinking of a million things and jumping from one topic to another. I do visit my brain very often, uh, and um, I entertain myself a lot when I'm there. My brain behaves like a Miami driver. Like so many in the magic city, my thoughts completely ignore speed limits, cut across lanes without signaling, and back up without looking in the rear view mirror. Behind the wheel of a car, however, I'm actually very cautious, which is why I am surprised to find myself in the emergency room. I got rear-ended. The ER doctor looks up from the results. The CAT scan of your brain showed um, something suspicious. There may be evidence of an historic stroke. You should see a neurologist. Traffic in my head races. An historic stroke, what the hell does that mean? A stroke for the history books? <laughs> a stroke on the history channel? A stroke that will go down in history? There's a history of stroke in my family. I've seen the destruction that a stroke leaves behind as it drag races through the narrow avenues of the brain. I make an appointment with a neurologist who recommends an MRI. It's just magnetism, no radiation, not to worry. He asks if I suffer from claustrophobia. I realize this means closed MRI, like being in a coffin. I try to direct the traffic in my head, slow down, use your turn signals, and please obey all posted speed limits. The neurologist says, have someone drive you. You may need to be sedated. The receptionist at the MRI center is named Carmen, like the opera, or Carmen Miranda, or the daughter on Que Pasa USA. Stop, I tell myself, stop sign ahead, but my engine is racing. Like 1970s pop star Eric Carmen. He sang, all by myself, exactly how I'm feeling right now. I'm 52, no partner, no one to drive me to the MRI center. I had to hire a goddamn nurse's aide. Pitiful, pity fool, ah, pity the fool who needs an MRI. Mr. T, I could use some tea right now. <laughs> tea and sympathy. Deborah Carr was in that movie. Carr, don't forget where you left your car. Carmen says something about claustrophobia. Traffic accelerates again. Is claustrophobia the fear of enclosed places or the fear of Santa Claus? <laughs> I'm a little afraid of Santa Claus and a lot afraid of Klaus von Bülow. Sonny Von Bulow, Sonny D. Is Sonny D as good as Tropicana? <laughs> the name of the girl in the Tropicana carton is Tropic Anna. Nobody knows that. Nobody know the trouble I seen. <laughs> traffic alert, traffic alert, traffic alert. So, <laughs> so are you claustrophobic, Mr. Weinstock? I nod. Carmen stamps my form in big red letters, needs sedation. <laughs> Mamita, I think, I need to be sedated years ago. <laughs> the MRI technician's name is Marlin, Florida Marlins. Marlo Thomas, Marlena Dietrich. <laughs> he gives me a little white pill. Here, this should help you inside the magnetron. The magnetron? <laughs> yeah, the MRI room is called the magnetron. Now entering magnetron. <laughs> Sounds like a bad episode of Lost in Space. Am I, am I lost in space? I got lost in Pembroke Pines last week. I'm a little lost in my life. I swallow the pill and wait for it to kick in. 
<laughs> Marlin tells me to lie down on the narrow bed. He covers my eyes with a white washcloth and gives me a pair of giant headphones. It's going to get pretty loud in here, but we'll play some nice music for you. And remember, it's just magnetism, no radiation, not to worry. Thank you, Marlon. Marlon Brando, a streetcar named Desire. I desire to get out of here. I desire another little white pill. I desire not to be alone at age 52. Stella! <laughs> Stella means star in Italian. Estrella, Estrella car insurance, State Farm, and like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Funny farm, old McDonald had a farm. Through the giant headphones, I hear an instrumental version of the girl from Ipanema. The announcer says, welcome to Calm Radio. The MRI starts to vibrate low and deep. The first cycle isn't so bad, but by cycle two, my ears are ringing. I can't hear calm radio anymore. I miss calm radio. By cycle three, the noise is really loud, like the siren at a nuclear power plant, like Chernobyl. Chernobyl's in the Ukraine near Kiev. What flies and glows in the dark? Chicken Kiev. I think about chicken. <laughs> I think about my trip to Kiev a few years ago. I got the worst case of food poisoning of my life. I was all alone there, too. My mental traffic is zooming by now faster than ever, faster than on Florida's turnpike late at night. Why do those signs always say Florida's turnpike? Whose else would it be? <laughs> Mr. Weinstock, please don't move. Sorry, Marlon, I say without moving my lips. <laughs> Everyone says Marlon Brando had animal magnetism. Just magnetism, no radiation, not to worry. <laughs> By cycle five, I can feel the vibrations in my neck, my chest, my brain. Good vibrations, I hope. Good, 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 good vibrations. The Beach Boys, I really need to go to the beach. My downstairs neighbor's a real beach. My life is a beach. Mr. Weinstock, this is the last cycle. It's going to get a little louder now. Louder? Impossible. The impossible dream to dream. The impossible dream to sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. I need to rub my nose. But Marlon told me not to move or we'd have to start from scratch. My nose is really itchy. <laughs> itchy and scratchy. The itchy and scratchy show. The whole bed is vibrating now. Vibrar. In Portuguese, vibrar means to be thrilled. Vibrei no carnaval. I was thrilled at carnival. Carnival in Rio. Carnival cruise lines. I should go on a cruise. That guy at Publix was totally cruising me. Cruising for a bruising. <laughs> my neck is bruised from the accident. My heart is bruised from my last relationship. I hope my brain isn't bruised. Mr. Weinstock, you're done. The bed inches forward out of the machine. Marlon says, you did great. Three days later, I go to get the results. I sit alone in the neurologist's waiting room and stare at the tiles on the floor. For once, I can't think of a single pop culture reference or snarky pun. Traffic has slowed to a halt. The doctor says, that thing on the CAT scan? Yes, yes. It's a normal brain formation, nothing to be concerned about. I'm sorry we scared you. I walk out of the doctor's office and into the parking garage. It's not until I get there that I realize I'm crying. I wipe my eyes, turn on the ignition, and head north. 
magnetic north, I say to myself, <laughs> as I slowly merge into traffic. Thank you.